All right, in this video, let's take a look at how we can find the slope of the line that fits your data from your buggy car. So this would be necessary for challenge number two. So first of all, in math, we have the general equation for a line, which is y equals mx plus b. But in physics, we use different variables, depending on what we're measuring. So in our case, the y variable is actually position, which the symbol we use for that is x. So now it's going to be x equals, and the x-axis in math, in our case, is time. So that's going to be t. And the slope of our equation is going to represent the velocity, how much change in position there is divided by the time. So this is going to be our v. And our b is going to be our y-intercept, which in math, if I extend that down here, our y-intercept is that place right there where the line goes through the y-axis. And in our case, we're going to give that a name. We're going to call it x0, which means x at time 0, or initial position. And um, the reason that we have to come up with an equation for this line here is that I'm asking you to, uh, to use your data to extrapolate out how much um, starting distance you would need when you're going off of the graph further out than your data. Hey, Christian. So our main goal here is to find the slope. And as we learned earlier in the course, the best thing to do is pick two points that are on the line that are uh, fairly far away and easy to determine the value of. So I'm going to take this point right here, this point right here, um, because I can see that this is a value of we're going to say that's 80 centimeters. And I can see that by going over to here. And I can also see that it is 5 seconds. So we're going to call that T2 5 seconds. OK, now what's another good data point that we might use? How about this one right here? I'm picking that one because it's occurring at an intersection of the grid lines. And so it looks to me like this one, we'll call it x1, equals 20 centimeters. And the time for that t2, t1 is 1.5 seconds. So to find our slope now, we're going to do a rise over run. Slope equals a rise over run. And the rise is going to be the change in x. The run is going to be the change in time. And the change in x is going to be the difference between x2 and x1, because that's how you calculate the change of something. Subtract. And we'll have t2 minus t1. OK, let's go over here and plug some numbers on the left side. x2 is 80. x1 is 20. And that's going to be in units of centimeters divided by t2, which is 5, minus t1, which is 1.5, and that's going to be in seconds. If I wanted to do this more carefully, I would say 5.0 to represent the fact that I'm measuring to the nearest tenth of a second for each one. And continuing on over here, that would mean 60 centimeters of travel divided by four point, no, 3.5, See if we can erase that. Divided by 3.5 seconds. And then what is that? Let's do a quick calculation. 60 divided by 3.5 is 17.1. My calculator actually says 17.14, but I'm going to round that to 17.1 um, because the numbers that I have here are not too much greater precision than three sig figs. And the units would be centimeters per second. All right, so what I just did is I found the speed of it um, during this point here, along here, when it is going at that constant speed. Um, now, you can see from my graph that it took a while to get up to that constant speed. And um, so I'm going to say up here, V equals 17.1 centimeters per second. Okay, so finishing this off here, I'm going to scroll up. 
finishing this off, what is our equation for this line? I'm going to do it in red. It is x equals 17.1 centimeters per second times t plus the initial position. So obviously r started at zero, um, but we're trying to come up with an equation of a line that would let us figure out the position at some high number for t that's off of our graph. So, um, so our equation is going to use this intercept here, and I don't have a good way of um, measuring that precisely, but I'm going to put in some tick marks here. Zero to ten. Oops. Let's try that. Zero to in between there ten. All right. So this is um, yeah, that's ten. This would be about ten. So I'm going to say that that's about negative um, eight centimeters. So we can write in negative eight for that point right there.